Are you doing okay after your first jump? Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. You'll feel better once you get used to it. Hmm, so you have high compatibility with the Express. That's good. I went through the Express's database, and it seems the environment on Eurelo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. It was not a frozen planet to begin with. He said so? Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. By normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. If I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. As I expected. Before you came, whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himiko would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. And even after you arrived, I didn't suppose I'd be the one to be... liberated of that duty. I assume the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on Eurelo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. Right? I see. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. Did you talk to Don Hung? How'd it go? <sighs> That's our Don Hung. Always trying to look cool with his poker face. Don't mind him. Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. We got your back. Well, are you ready? When I first saw this planet, I thought a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Still, the ice that trapped me was six-phased ice, a very rare substance. I don't think you can find it on your average planet. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. What? Is there something on my face? Just imagining all the fun we're going to have here. <laughs> mm. I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. All right, here comes the Eurelo 6 Trailblaze team. Eurelo 6, we're here. <sighs> it really is one big snowball. Well, the Trailblaze path grants us faint power. It allows us to better adapt to harsh environments. <sighs> Snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Hmm... Do you want to mention the time we smashed a hole through Taikian Stadium? Or shall I? Oh, please stop bringing that up. Let's just say that landings and crowds don't mix. Unless you enjoy trailblazing through two weeks of community service. I said drop it! Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. 
calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on. You've got a Stellaron in your body. I have my special six-phase dice powers. And Don Hung, uh, he's got that mysterious past thing going for him. So if people start creating trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> let's go. Braving the unknown? That's the real spirit of trailblazing. This place still hasn't been corroded. Yet Fragmenta monsters have already made it here. I fear the Stellaron may be exerting a significant influence on this world. Just an ordinary snowdrift. Are you sure you're not seeing things? Of course not. My eyesight's perfect. Come on, let's take a closer look. This sanctuary is but a vision. A gift from the stars. Watch this! The stars will always remember us. Your breath won't help. I got this, March. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand, or the snow in this case. They just need a helping hand. Ouch! My fine fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely. It doesn't warrant a spearing. But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> Is Captain Jepard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Who? 
Wait, you're not Silvermane guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Excellent, I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but... Fear not! Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together! <laughs> Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel the main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity! Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than ten feet from a Silvermane guard. Settlement? What a literary turn of phrase. Why, there's only one place in this world where the living still reside. Our beloved Bellabog. The further away you get, the dicier things become. The City of Preservation, the Towering Citadel, humanity's last bastion against the Eternal Freeze. It may sound a bit over the top, but those names are grounded in truth. The only place humans can eke out an existence is behind those impregnable walls. Me? You guys scared me to death. There I was, looking for relics to sell, when all of a sudden you came stomping over. I thought the Silvermane guards were paying me a visit. Seriously, though? Try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, they won't hide in a snowdrift, and you'll be in a cell before you know it. You really don't know? The Silvermane guards are Bellabog's soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work? Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> to be young and naive again. How about this? As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost... be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Kosky's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. So why were you hiding from the Silvermane guards? Yeah, I was just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, there'd be no need for secrecy. So where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything, I just care about my friends. No pressure. Rule number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called Invisible snow walking helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Who are they? Uh, you remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? That's them. Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. It's the suspect and his accomplices. Arrest them. It's 
now or never. Over to you, dear friends. Hey, where do you think you're? Look out! You have the worst luck running into me. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. <laughs> Scared yet? <laughs> Clemency? Never heard of it. A gift from the stars. What's this? <laughs> Let's go. Batter up. <laughs> Just a scratch. <laughs> Too late to repent. Everything is ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! Hard land down. Captain of the Silver Main Guards order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Ugh, that Sampo cheated us all. Wait till I get my hands on him. Life and death. Reveal the suspect. Next. Relinquish your resistance. This is what's efficient. So I'm a criminal, huh? Forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. The time's now. <laughs> Look out! You have the worst luck running into me! With me out here, how can we lose? Let's make it quick. Take this! Stay focused! For glory! Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Rules are made to be broken. You're out! A guest with no manners, huh? <laughs> Stay right there while I give you a present! Let's go. to repent. I don't remember inviting you. Look out! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! My turn! 
turn. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's make it quick. Prime suspect? The one with the blue hair? Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. <sighs> no matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next move. Yeah, we'd never team up with someone like him. trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his... I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the Architects, not now. Take them away. But we're not from Bellabog! Silence! What kind of nonsense are you? As you were, we must not be tempted into careless judgment. Look at their relics. We've never excavated anything like them before. And I haven't seen anything similar in our museums. Exactly! Uh, and we even have photos! You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold, Yarilo 6! You mean to say that this white ball that's here, that's our home? How can that... Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. That's because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? <laughs> 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. 
the land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. He's sure saying some weird stuff. Marked change in tone. Sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Uh-huh. So why is he telling us all this? He wanted to know. Uh <laughs> We saw strange creatures outside the city. They must have come from a Terran corroded space. A fragmentum, correct? How do you... That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats, including the monsters you saw. The Silver Main Guards are continuously engaged with the enemy, but I'm afraid the situation is bleak. After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. We're lacking in intel. We're here. This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the Architects. Klepoth is the symbol of preservation. Under Klepoth's impulsion, the Architects constructed Bellabog, thus protecting the spark of civilization from disaster and the eternal freeze. To show our reverence, we named this fortress after the Eon themselves. The Architects, under the protection of Klepoth, have continued to lead this city forward, repelling all manner of disasters. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog, elected and appointed by the Architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. The current Guardian is Madame Kakolia Rand. Every major strategic decision is issued by her. Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Uh, we're gonna see her right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? Let's not waste time. No one will notice. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Madame Kokolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. Sacrifice. How can you... <clears throat> you may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. Ugh. Yes, Mother. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jacquard. You may leave. Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky, no? <laughs> I am Kokolia Rand, Bellabog's Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself? <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. 
The architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. An eon connected our planet to other worlds, and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also came to know of Klopoth the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So do not be surprised. For seven hundred years, the Architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. Ah, uh, do you think anyone's gonna know what you're talking about? We came here for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the Eternal Freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as Fragmentum Space Corrosion began to occur. Correct? Correct. Which is why the Antimatter Legion and Stellarons often show up together. Worlds seeded with Stellarons give birth to Fragmentums. As for the Eternal Freeze, it must have been a product of the Stellaron, unique to the environment of your world. You can see us as... kind-hearted, interstellar public servants, lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. <clears throat> your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of, some of which prove vexatious to us even today. But why should you care? Even if this Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. Unless they had something to gain. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. Yeah! FYI, we're pretty awesome. You know how to seal the Stellaron. We have the relevant means. Very well, I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Bellabog has waited 700 years for. I am willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. It's getting late, and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. <laughs> but of course! You are Bellabog's honored guests, and have the highest privileges afforded to you. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to... Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. Of course, I understand. Do not worry. I have a way. It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. You know, I didn't think things were gonna go that smoothly. 
I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabog. Uh, wait! Can you recommend some sights? It's not that late. We want to take a look around. Well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... <sighs> You'll see. Oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane Guard stationed there. It's started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. So the corrosion is inside the city. Well, that's a grave situation. Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. for this city somehow. Whatever it's made of, it can't be ice. I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? Workshop. Hey, didn't Jacquard say there'd be a show here? He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Sometimes being the operative word. Oh, darn. I wanted to see one. Oh, I'd been wondering. You see that heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? This city is so weird. Normally you'd want a heater inside a building, right? If so, I'm not sure mighty is the right word for these architects. Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. <laughs> you guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. Oh wow, she's cool! Yep, touch it and find out. Ice cold. I was just about to fix it up. I forgot to introduce myself. The name's Serval. I'm the owner of this workshop. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me, though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. Oh, uh, we're okay. I was just curious about the heater. Curious? About the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find them anywhere in the administrative district. Only just got here? Ah, I figured it out. I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. You must be them? What an honor. Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you like. Let's have a chat. The heater you saw is just a standard Geomero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. The blizzards here are brutal. If we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city, both above and below the surface. It's an ore, a special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomero. Geomero grows beneath the surface of the planet, and specialist underworld mining teams are there to extract it. Transport lines shuttle it up to the surface. 
In the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. You didn't know? Bellabog is structured like two big connected disks. The overworld is responsible for administration and trade, while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. However, due to an order that was given many years ago, nobody has moved between the overworld and the underworld in a long time. Ah, I shouldn't be talking about this. Pretend I never said anything. Isn't it just like cooking food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. When she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. No sweat. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Hey, seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, want to help me fix up this machine? Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. Great, then let me give you a demonstration first. Jepard mentioned. The one contaminated by the Fragmentum, right? I can't believe how close it is to the city center. If they hadn't identified it, I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have had to close down by now. Move back! This is your final warning! But... But my proof of property is inside! I don't have any... The Fragmentum has already corroded this block. You can make a property retrieval request to the Architects, but only Silvermane Guards are permitted to enter here. I can't believe Fragmentum Corrosion has spread into the city. No wonder there are so many soldiers stationed there. You know, as long as the Stellaron is active, the Corrosion will continue to spread. The soldiers can only periodically clear the Fragmentum of Monsters but the monsters will continue to emerge and multiply. Please try to understand, sir. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. We're just here for your safety. If I can't get my proof of property, it doesn't matter how safe I am. Out of my way! Let me pass! <sighs> Come around and have a look. Nice. You guys are pretty handy. You picked that up in no time. Want to be my assistants? Average pay, but I'm a good boss. <laughs> Do you just say yes to everything? I was only kidding. Just a joke. Well, I'd better carry on here. Why not have a better look around? My workshop will always be open to you. And your wallets, of course.
Come around and have a look. I just want to put my head on a pillow and drift off. <sighs> Seems like the first day of our trailblazing expeditions is always pretty eventful, huh, Don Hung? <laughs> it's because you've got too much energy. Beautiful lobby. It's gonna be soft mattresses and cushiony pillows tonight. Wanna have a pillow fight later? Huh? Huh? I bet they're stuffed with goose feathers. <laughs> March. Earlier in Klepoth Fort. Stop, I know what you're gonna say. March, you said too much back there. March, you shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. Meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. But check it out! Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. That's... not what I was going to say. Alright, spit it out then. Earlier in Klepoth Fort... <sighs> Were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? Uh, yeah, of course. This isn't my first expedition, you know. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. Something up with her. She seemed normal to me. She was kinda harsh at first, but she turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. Although, it felt like she was looking through me. As in, I know she was speaking to us, but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Hmm, I had a similar feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Uh, do you have to put it like that? That's scary! Maybe. She's an important person, after all. Maybe there were armed bodyguards lying in ambush. Uh, perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I just hope she keeps her word. Mm, let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. Is there anything left to do? We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. It was a long day today. All I need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep. Oh, you too. Let's get to bed early and save our energy. I sense the next few days could be tiring. I'm off to my room then. Express lights off! Who are you? What are you? Achieve your wish. Hey, 
Did you hear that? There's a group of Silvermane guards at the entrance, and I don't think they're here to say hi. Uh, if this is our escort, it's less friendly than I was expecting. Huh, you must have had some miserable jobs. Let's go and meet them. We won't know until we're down there. Hey, Commander Branya is waiting for you all down below. Hurry up and go see her. And no tricks. Are we in a lot of trouble? You were there at the fort. I am Branya Rand, acting commander of the Silvermane Guards. In the name of the Amber Lord and the Highest, and under order of Supreme Guardian Kokolia Rand, I hereby arrest the suspected infiltrators under the charge of plotting to incite rebellion. As agent of the Supreme Guardian, I herewith temporarily strip you of your freedom of action and speech. When you are tried by the adjudication panel, you will be given the opportunity to defend yourselves against the accusations. Resistance will prove futile. You must come with me. Uh, wait a minute! This isn't what we agreed! She said we were going to be escorted to discuss an urgent matter! This is an orchestrated betrayal, obviously. Looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices. Again. It seems like it's every third planet this happens. That's because you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. Hey, I'm improving. I'm uh, coming up with a plan right now. And... Got one! Dunham, the alley. The one that's been sealed off. Hmm, it's possible. March. Be ready to make an escape. Huh? Really? I just wanted to say something. Three of a kind? Shh! It's an old Astral Express escape signal. Do you play cards? Two pair? Hey, what are you whispering? Let's get going. Ace! Momentum. I don't know if they're overconfident or just eager for death. It would seem that Mother's judgment was correct. Should we report them as missing or deceased? <sighs> the Supreme Guardian's order was to arrest them. We cannot abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed-off area. I must ascertain their fate with my own eyes. Yes, ma'am. Eradicate all threats to Bellabog security. That is what I must do. By surprise. Nothing more. They'll be in pursuit soon enough. <laughs> Let's follow the path. We need to guarantee our own safety before making any further plans. Back 
there. Why did the Supreme Guardian send people to arrest us? Imagine launching a surprise attack when your enemy is fast asleep. Ugh, the cheek! That woman had a troubling aura. Our instincts were correct. This sanctuary is but a vision! Secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Who's the lucky one today? Check out this awesome move. Batter up. it without me. Keep at it. Keep at it. Reach the end of the story in your own way. there's any way to open this gate. Ooh, check this mechanism out. Look familiar? Yes. We saw one in Serval's workshop. We need to solve it before we run out of time. The guards are right on our heels. Looks good. Look out! 
have done it without me. Reach the end of the story in your own way. I don't see a switch for the gate! Ah, over there! There's a monster in the area. We'll need to deal with it first. without me. Underestimate me. <laughs> Even though it has suffered fragmentum corrosion, this is still part of Bellabog. It was our home. The guards know this place like the back of their hand. Enough, cat and mouse. Drop your weapons and come with me. Ah, oh, you're such a nuisance! Just what crime are we supposed to have committed again? It better be worth you following us all the way out here. My orders are to arrest you. It is for the adjudication panel to present you with the nature and penalty of your alleged crimes. You saw us yesterday. Do you remember? Madame Cocolia received us as honored guests. How can such a drastic change have occurred in the course of one night? The Madame Guardian investigated your backgrounds. She summoned me last night to tell me that you had deceived her. Your identities and purpose here are counterfeit. You seek to overthrow the rule of the Architects. Huh, what a two-faced hag! 
Publicly insulting the Supreme Guardian only elevates the seriousness of your crimes. Throw down your arms and surrender. We're wasting our words, March. At least one thing is clear. We mustn't be caught. Well, if there's no escape, then maybe it's time we gave them a taste of Astral Express medicine. Clemency? Never heard of it. Let's go. Ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars! Give these trailblazers your blessing! A guest with no manners, huh? Hmm. I'll handle these evildoers myself. <laughs> 